Uh, and today's announcement of, of a really fascinating result about current water on Mars is one of the reasons why I feel it's even more imperative that we send astrobiologists and planetary scientists to Mars to explore the question of is there current life on Mars. From the Curiosity rover, we now know that Mars once was a planet very much like Earth, with warm, salty seas, with freshwater lakes, probably snow-capped peaks and clouds and a water cycle, just like we're studying here on Earth with our Earth science satellites, the water cycle here on Earth. But something has happened to Mars. It lost its water. But we still have, in, in the atmosphere and on the surface, for the most part, but we still have this question of, did life arise on Mars once, and can we find out? Mars suffered a major climate change and lost its surface water. Today, we're revolutionizing our understanding of this planet. <laughs> our rovers are finding that there's a lot more humidity in the air than we ever imagined. As we ingest the soils, they're moist. They're hydrated, full of water. These discoveries are very important, but they were only part of the hydrological cycle on Mars that we're just now beginning to understand. What we're going to announce today is that Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars.